Hey what's up you guys, it's Kelsey and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am going to be talking about my three go-to Bible verses for our homeschool. is in collaboration with the homeschooling Grammy I will link her channel down in the description box below there are also some others participating so I will link the playlist down below there as well so first and foremost I think it's really important to share with you all a little bit about our family my name is Kelsey and my husband Kyle and I have been married for eight years now we have two children Liam is seven and Nolan is three and Liam is our only homeschooler at the moment um, that we do actual sit down curriculum with and he also has special needs so sometimes this can mean that he has flare-ups and so we have to take breaks from school sometimes he can get very aggressive or upset very easily so homeschooling um, a child with kind of like explosive behavior can be very very difficult at times and we need Jesus in our homeschool the main thing that I focus on in our homeschool is something that I actually learned in like the past six months and it has just made a world of difference from the way that I interpret school in the way that I um, think about school in the way that I handle certain situations in our school and that is the phrase heaven not Harvard and this just simply means that my ultimate goal as a mom and as a homeschool mom is that I am going to raise my children to have godly character and put their faith and trust in him and everything else is secondary so my whole goal of being a homeschool parent is to teach them the things that I want to teach them raise them the way that I want to raise them and not have to worry about someone else doing that for eight hours a day or having a lot of other outside influences so obviously if Harvard were to come that would be secondary that would be wonderful but that is not our ultimate goal our ultimate goal is to raise godly children so the first Bible verse that is kind of my go-to is my favorite Bible verse and that is Psalms 127 3 through 5 Behold, children are a heritage from the Lord. The fruit of the womb is a reward. Like arrows in the hand of a warrior, so are the children of one's youth. Happy is the man who has his quiver full of them. They shall not be ashamed, but shall speak with their enemies in the gate. So this Bible verse talks about that children are a gift and they are arrows and I just love that that we are raising arrows they are a gift from the Lord God sees children as an ultimate blessing and I just feel so grateful that he gave me the responsibility for these children and that um, I am raising them so this is great when I just sit and think about the fact that I am doing this for God, I am doing this to raise godly children, and that is such an encouragement to me, but it's also great on the bad days because I'm like, children are a blessing, yes, I promise they are. Like, it's just sometimes it is a rough day, and that is something that I have to seriously think about for a minute sometimes. Something else that is my go-to thing that I say all the time is patience is a virtue. 1 Corinthians 4-7 through seven. Love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous or boastful or proud or rude. It does not demand its own way. It is not irritable and it keeps no record of being wronged. It does not rejoice about injustice, but rejoices whenever the truth wins out. Love never gives up, never loses faith, is always hopeful, and endures through every circumstance. And this just talks about how love is patient and love is kind and you have got to have patience and kindness when you homeschool. I hear all the time from other moms that I am friends with or that I went to high school with that say, I don't know how you do it. There's no way that I could homeschool. You have to be super patient. The Lord gives me my patience. That's all there is to say. I am not naturally a patient person. I did not grow up in a home with patient parents. Like it was not. I have very easily triggers of like when my son yells or gets upset or has a bad attitude that really triggers me and I tend to get very upset and irritated very quickly. So I have to remember constantly over and over 
Patience, patience, patience. Okay, and so my third go-to Bible verse for our homeschool, and this is kind of what um, set in motion our homeschool and kind of gave me my confirmation that um, homeschool was going to be right for our family and it was the right thing to do. Proverbs 22, 6. Train a child up in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. And ultimately, this is what we are called to do as Christian parents. We are called to train up our children, to teach our children the ways of God and the ways of the Bible, and to teach them what they need to know to be equipped for this world and to be equipped to be the armor of God and to go forward as arrows fighting for God. So that is just something that I really like to think about sometimes that I just have to again a lot of these phrases I use on good days and bad days I think oh I'm training up my children for God this is amazing or I need to train my children up for God like this is why I'm doing what I'm doing sometimes I forget that sometimes I get frustrated sometimes I get upset sometimes we have to take a week off a day off it happens it's life it's real life and sometimes I have to pray, Jesus give me strength, Jesus give me patience, Jesus I hope I'm making <laughs> the right choice. Um, I just have to, sometimes I just have to sit, hold my breath and pray and shut my eyes and just don't let my kid do whatever he's doing for the moment. So that is basically the three things that I think about, that I pray about, that are our ultimate goal for homeschool. So as I said, our ultimate goal for our homeschool and for our family is heaven, not Harvard. And that has just really helped me to see what is important that my son is learning at his own pace, that he's having fun, that he's doing what he can do developmentally at the moment and everything else is secondary. So he may not grow up to go to Harvard, he may not be an engineer or a rocket scientist, he may be a plumber, I don't know, but as long as he has good moral character and he is happy with his life and he is, I just want him to be successful and happy, whatever that means to him, and to put God at the center of his life. So thank you guys so much for watching my video. Make sure that if you haven't yet, you hit that subscribe button. I put out new mommy-related content every Monday and Friday at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Again, make sure to check out the description box below for the Homeschooling Grammys channel as well as the playlist for other videos like this one. So thank you guys, and I will see you on Friday. Bye!